Hey guys! What's up guys? Back for the Rangers. Pulse game video. <laughs> uh, and good one for the Rangers. Another big two points. Every game for the Rangers is a huge game right now. I will keep saying that because that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, so Rangers defeat the Sabres 3-1 to here. Uh, as they close out their season's series with them. And uh, it was an exciting game for the most part. Um, Rangers kind of lackadaisically go through the first period. Nothing going on in the first period. Yep. No scoring. A lot of oh, Sabres were kind of in the Rangers end there first period. Yeah, I felt like it was almost like a power play because they were just down there so much on that end. Yeah, it was a lot going on. But um, there weren't any actual panels. Shostakovich made 16 saves in that first period for the Rangers, which was pretty pretty fucking good. Um, second period starts. Rangers look better. Um, kind of a broken play. Passed off a skate comes with Brendan Smith. Brendan Smith just one times his puck. Uh, beats everybody. Gets through everybody. Lukin in, uh, who's only played his second NHL game for Buffalo, which I think is going to be trying to be like their consecutive guy. He's looking like he's going to be the franchise goalie going forward. Uh, beats him. Rangers go up one nothing. Um... Again, a lot of back and forth would go on in this game. Sabres with momentum, Rangers with momentum. Um, and, of course, Sam Reinhardt would get a power play goal. I didn't even see the penalty, to be honest. Sam Reinhardt would get a power play goal with, like, three seconds left in the, in the second period, making it a stressful 1-1 going into the third. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, at that point, we're, you know, at the same time, we're looking at the Bruins game, Bruins and Pittsburgh game. Rangers are four points out of the playoff spot. Boston just in front of them. So we're looking at that game. We're making sure the Rangers got to take care of business over here. Um, and the third period kind of opened up for the Rangers. Buffalo <clears throat> takes a couple bad penalties, gets caught on a power play or on a penalty kill, delay a game. There's a fighting too, right? There was a fighting major, too. With Rome, Strong. Rangers Rome. had to kill that penalty on the fighting major so before they got uh, their chance on the power play. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rudy got into penalty trouble. Um, a Rangers kill that off. Get a 5-on-3. Don't score on the 5-on-3. Score on the 5-on-4, I think. Um, yeah. I think it was uh, Lafayette. Was it Lafayette? It was Lafayette as a manager. They both had goals in the third period. I don't remember. No, it was Lafayette who who scored. Or no, Zibanejad scored on the power play because it was a great backhand pass from Chris right. Kreider. Um, and then Lafayette would score with a great pass from Ryan Schroen. Both passes were very good. Under pressure, and they found the open man. And that blew the game open 3-1. Sabres would pull the goalie. Rangers couldn't find the empty net. At that point, it didn't matter. Rangers were just trying to get the two points. Um, unfortunately, the Bruins would beat Pittsburgh three to one. Yeah. So they still are four point four points behind Boston. But other than that, it, you know, Shesterkin stood on his head this game. I thought. I thought he kept the Rangers in early. Thirty six saves. Yeah, thirty six saves. Um, and Sam Reinhardt had the only goal. Uh, for Buffalo. So he, he was good in the first. He continued to be good. Don't get me wrong. Luka was good for uh, for Buffalo. Yeah. Um, that was only because of big guns. The Rangers didn't show up till third. And then once that happened, the game kind of got swapped around. Going into this game, Luka had like four goals against. Mm. He'd only played one game prior to this. He, he was 1-0-0 going into this. Still with four goals against. So he he was letting in goals, obviously. And looking in, letting in, get it. He was yes. looking in goals. Yes. Very good. Um, but he was he was looking good. He did definitely make some saves which made it hard and made it a little scary. And I'm glad the Rangers came through. Yeah. It was uh I mean there's not much to say about this game other than, you know, the Rangers needed these points. Uh they needed these points. They didn't get help from Pittsburgh. But um Rangers have to go forward now because they have a harder test. They have to play the Islanders now back to back. Yeah. Um, and we'll have to take a look at who the Bruins are playing because they're moving on to a new series, I imagine, after playing two against Pittsburgh. So let's see who the fuck they're playing. Yeah. 
Um, but to still be in this is, is amazing. And to get even closer, right, I mean, right. the Rangers did what they could do today. We can't control what the other teams do. But, no. um, but yeah, it's it's close, man. The, it's not the fact that we're even talking about Rangers being in the playoffs this far, like with did the, like single digit games left in the season is yeah. nobody expected this team make it or not expected this team to get this far to even be talking about playoffs as far as being in them um so you got to tip your hats to the rangers honestly they've, they've gone through a lot of diversity i've never said this before um i still think they could do it i, yeah. I really do it just sucks that they they need help from other teams. They need teams and Boston sells two games at hand on the Rangers. Right. So it's not it's the, the odds are stacked against the New York Rangers, honestly. Uh, when it comes to making the playoffs, especially because they have two games at hand against the Sabres, which is the worst team in the division. That doesn't mean they can't beat Boston. They've beaten Boston before. Um it just doesn't seem likely. But the Rangers just need to keep going out there and winning games they cannot afford to lose. If they lose, Boston has to lose. Right. I think, like, it sucks to say one win for Boston and maybe one loss for the Rangers might might do it for them. Um, that's how close yeah. this has gotten. Yeah. And our last two games are against Boston. That's, so yeah. that's, that's a big deal. because yeah. that's... This could come down to the wire, honestly. This really could come down to the wire, like most New York Rangers seasons have in the, in the past. Uh, but either way, it's exciting. We'll have to look forward to it. Um, anything, man? Uh, what were we saying? Yeah. Hundred subs. Yeah, we on the channel subs because of you guys. Because of you guys. You guys uh, we'll make there. another video about yes. this. But we just want to say really quick, thank you for thank the support. You, so you guys, you guys got us to a hundred subs during yeah. that stream. Yeah. Um, and we can't be more thankful. We'll do a separate video, um, but we just we're so thankful. We never thought it would go this far. Yeah, just us sitting around talking about hockey, and uh, we just love the way this channel's growing. You guys are fucking awesome, and thank you for the support. You got us here. Hope we keep watching. We'll keep making content. We'll keep doing stuff. It's been it's been a lot of fun this season, man. Yeah, a lot of fun doing New York Ranger hockey this year. Yeah. Um, other than that, we will be on tomorrow for the Mets and Sox game. DeGrom on the mound, see if he can follow up his performance from last game, which will be hard to honestly follow up. But we'll, if anyone can do it, it'd probably be him. Yeah, he just gets better and better, so, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow, and then Rangers Thursday, so have a good night, guys. Have a great night. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Yes. Peace. Bye. Good night.